okay this is something new which we got in this latest update of project blaze i made a video on project blaze uh, maybe last month and it was a quite good start with this one and now in this new update we got some new changes new improvements new ui changes and a lot more things so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end yes it's based on android 12 l which means android 12.1 is here about phone ui it's just my opinion that it just looks like project arcana and the thing is project Project Arcana is not more alive so yes you can use this thing as an alternative of Project Arcana if you like that if you like that room because in this room we got so many interesting things it's based on Android 12 L and you have the Easter egg like that so yes something interesting the default wallpaper has been changed as you just saw the default launcher is not changed it's pixel launcher as expectedly but it's not a big deal if you want to use any other launcher it's Android 12.1 so just wait for the support for all these launchers all the custom launchers and if you are able to see at the quick settings panel yes this is something new if you are missing android 11 style quick settings panel it's there yes all those animations are still there but yes if you if you were missing android 11 style quick settings panel it's included in project blaze it was almost same with dot os also but in this one we have this kind of ui available i got some minor bugs here and there which you will install and you will definitely find out but as i just mentioned minor bugs are not a big deal for you i think so you you will not be able to you will not be you will not face any major things so you'll be able to use this thing on a device safeness status that sector has no issues so yes you can use banking apps if you want to google photos as unlimited storage also so yes that might be a good thing for you too if i move on to some other things as i'm using it in mere tool device like redmi note 9 s pro pro max poco m2 pro i got octavio as styler which is of course something interesting we also have a octavi os messaging app which is of course support modern theming too and also the calculator app from octavi os so yes this looks something interesting i'm not sure if it is device specific but this is what i got in mere tool device so if you're a mere tool device user you will see these things if i move on to the settings option if i check out the display settings we have the pitch black theme so if your device has the amoled display you need to use this thing pure black theme other than else if i move on to other other options like sound we have the per app volume control as expectedly it's there if i move on to the security section face lock fingerprint lock app lock everything is there so yes there might not be any issues for you if you want to use app lock if you want to use face lock fingerprint lock whatever you find suitable for you you can use that if i move on to the battery section you can see the battery temperature as right now in india we have summer so you need to take care of battery temperature for sure so that's also the xiaomi parts included and maybe device specific if i move on to the gestures option gesture navigation system navigation and here i found ime button space option so yes you can simply turn off this option if you don't need that kind of space below the keyboard but you need pill so that's also quite interesting and useful if i move on to the blaze house where you have all these customizations i've applied the custom fonts as you just saw working perfectly fine icon package extra options as expectedly already here signal icons wi-fi icons that i can share whichever you want to customize you can also i found some bit of extra things in quick settings panel status bar has almost same kind of things but if i move on the quick settings panel you can customize the quick settings transparency if you want to i tried using the number fourth one which means i tried checking the transparency and this is how we have the blur or you can say transparency that looks quite good so if you need blur or these kind of transparency you simply need to restart the system ui and you are done you simply need to adjust this transparency level and you are good to go other than else navigation related customization for example navigation pulse or maybe lock screen related things we have some system related things one more interesting feature which we have is ignore window secure flags you'll be able to take screenshots in the restricted app so that also feels good other than us these were things i just wanted to let you know and i hope you will love this thing and as always all the credits to the developers this was all from today's short and simple video i'll see you next video until then goodbye over the edge feel like i'm floating through